Hello students, I am Assistant Professor Aparna Ketari. Today we are going to study stereochemistry, stereochemistry of cycloalkanes. This is chapter 2 from organic chemistry, stereoisomers in cycloalkanes. Then what is cyclic compounds? In many organic compounds, the carbon atoms are arranged to form ring and such ring compounds are called cyclic compounds. Then this is the bond angles in planar. This three membered ring is called cycloalkane, cyclopropane. Um, then this is four membered cyclobutane, five membered cyclopentane, six membered cycloalkane, sorry cyclohexane, then seven membered cycloheptane and eight membered ring is called cyclooctane. Then the angle is the 60 degree in cyclopropane, 90 degree in here is the angle is 90 degree and uh, in cyclopentane the angle is bond angle is 108 in cyclohexane 120 and in cycloheptane 129 degree and cyclooctane 135 degree then bear strength theory according to this uh, this bear strength theory gives the stability of this cycloalkanes and uh, according to this theory cycloalkanes contain uh, sorry Cycloalkanes contain sp3 hybrid orbit carbons and hybrid carbons sp3 hybridized carbon and the normal bond angle when there is sp3 hybridization the bond angle is 109.5 degree and in the formation of ring this angle will have to deform to be deformed because here the dihedral angle is 60 90 degree 108 degree therefore in the formation of a ring this angle will have to be deformed and therefore cyclopropane cyclobutane ring systems are unstable due to the for presence of angle strain in the in the molecule because normal bond uh, angle is or angle is 109 degree and this uh, angle is how to be deformed in the formation of cyclobutane and cyclopropane also in all cycloalkanes and the angle strength is definition for angle strength the difference between the tetrahedral angle that is 109.5 degree and the internal angle of cycloalkane gives angle strength angle strength is equal to tetrahedral angle minus internal angle Therefore, 109.5 degree minus internal angle. Then, bare strength theory. Um, bear proposed that the angle strain increases, the stability of the ring decreases. Because it is strain, angle strain. As angle strain increases, the stability of the ring decreases. And cyclopropane, cyclobutane are unstable because there is maximum angle strain. And cyclopentane has maximum angle strain. Then cyclohexane onward angle strain goes on increasing and hence they should be most unstable according to best. But, experiment, but experimental measurements of heat of combustion indicates that these rings that is cyclohexane onward do not have any angle strain that is they are angle strain free rings and therefore bear strain theory failed for cyclohexane and higher cycloalkanes. Then heat of combustion and stabilities of cycloalkanes. Heat of combustion is defined as the amount of heat evolved when one mole of compound is completely oxidized. The general equation for heat of combustion for cycloalkane is this is CH2N, N is the size of ring and number of carbon atoms or in the ring size when it is oxidized in presence of oxygen or heated in presence of oxygen it, it undergo combustion and product is carbon dioxide and water and it releases heat then when a long chain organic compounds undergo combustion the heat of combustion available for each ch2 group is found to be 157.4 kilocalorie per mole and all cycloalkanes can be represented by ch2n where n is the number of carbon atom forming the ring then relative strain is for per ch2 group this um, energy is 157.4 kilocalorie per mole Therefore, relative ring strain is 157.4 minus heat of combustion per CH2 group. Therefore, let's calculate the 
heat of combustion and relative strain for cycloalkanes then relative uh, ring strain in cycloalkane the relative stabilities of cycloalkanes are determined by measuring their their heats of combustion here uh, cycloalkane plus oxygen and it gives the carbon dioxide plus water and here when the long chain cycloalkanes here 157.4 and relative strain is per cc to its ring strain there is no ring therefore here zero and total ring strain is zero zero that is there is no ring in for long chain alkenes then when the ring size is 3 that is cyclopropane the heat per ch2 is 166.6 and relative strain becomes 9.2 and the total ring strain becomes 7.6 then when uh, cyclo so cyclobutane is there ring size is 4 then heat per ch2 is 164.0 and the ring strain per ch2 is 6 and the total and the total ring strain becomes 26.4 and uh, when there is five membered ring that is cyclopentane the per heat per ch2 is 158.7 relative strain that is this uh, heat per ch2 is uh, subtracted from the 157.4 and then yeah, this ring strain is calculated therefore 157.4 minus 158.7 it gives 1.3 and the relative total ring strain becomes 6.5 and in case of cyclohexane that is ring size is 3 6 then 157.4 minus 157.4 it gives 0, 0.0 and the total ring strain becomes 0, 0.0 and then it is cyclobutane ring that is cycloheptane the heat per ch2 is 157.4 and the ring strain per ch2 is 0 0.9 and the total ring strain becomes 6.3 when the ring size is 8 then heat per ch2 is 158.6 and then 157 minus here minus is considered as a positive they are not considering sign therefore 158.6 it gives 1.2 and uh, relative strain becomes 9.6 therefore if heat of ch2 per ch2 here heat of ch2 per ch2 is uh, less than this ring strain there is high ring strain and this ring that is cyclopropane and cyclobutane um, is uh, highly unstable rings then the here ring strain is zero for cyclohexane therefore the this uh, cyclohexane ring is highly stable ring then from this again ring strain decreases therefore these rings are that is cyclohexane ring onward rings are stable rings that is heat heat of combustion per ch2 is 157.4 kilocalorie per mole then the cycloalkane is as stable as open chain alkane for example cyclohexane and if heat of combustion per ch2 is less than 157.4 kilocalorie then cycloalkane is more stable than open chain alkanes then if heat of combustion per ch2 is more than 157.0 kilocalorie per mole then cycloalkane is less stable than open chain compound for example in case of cyclopropane and cyclobutane as the heat of combustion per ch2 becomes more and more than that of open chain alkane the stability of alkane decreases then the heat of combustion per ch2 in case of cyclohexane is nearly same that is it is same exactly same therefore cycloalkane is stable as as stable as open chain compound and as open chain compounds are free from angle strain then cyclohexane should be free from any angle strain then relative angle for seven membered ring eight membered ring and higher membered rings is very small and compound with ring size greater than 15 in fact more stable than um, cyclohexane and completely free from strain
the next factors affecting the stability of cycloalkane first angle strain that is angle strain is the any deviation from normal bond angle that is 109.5 degree causes angle strain and if there is angle strain in compound then the cycloalkanes becomes unstable then torsional strain the staggered conformation is more stable because groups are away from each other and in eclipse than in eclipse conformation because in eclipse conformation the groups are more maximum close to uh, each other and therefore deviation from staggered conformation is responsible for the torsional strain due to the internal energy increases and stability of conformation decreases then here in staggered conformation all atoms are away from each other therefore there is no torsional interaction but in this eclipsed conformation this um, atoms are maximum close to each other uh, therefore here energy increases therefore any deviation from this staggered conformation causes torsional interaction and it decreases the stability of conformation third one is the dipole dipole interaction it is the attraction between the positive end and negative end of the mo molecule in polar co compounds as a result of this interaction polar molecules are generally held to each other uh, more strongly than non polar molecules of comparable molecular weight then hydrogen bonding it is special kind of dipole dipole interaction in which hydrogen atom serves as a bridge between two electronegative atoms holding one by covalent bond and here there is negative end oxygen is more electronegative therefore here negative end and hydrogen is positively charged therefore they are held together by special type of dipole dipole interaction and this special type of dipole dipole interaction is called the hydrogen bond and therefore the hydrogen bond is formed by attraction between the negatively charged oxygen and positively charged uh, hydrogen in water molecule and therefore the uh, hydrogen atom uh, sorry it is uh, hydrogen bonding is the special kind of sp uh, dipole dipole interaction in which the hydrogen atom serves as a bridge between two electronegative atoms holding one bicovalent bond and other by pure electrostatic force.